Hey guys, you're watching Z1 and Lonely. My name is AJ, and this is episode 13, is it? Yeah, Th 13 or 14 of School of Redstone. And in this lesson, we're going to be building a 3x3 three three door with the middle block. So, this is the hardest bit to do is to get this middle block to close up. Uh, so, I'm going to show you in action first. We pull the lever, and we get a 3x3 three three open area with no sign of any pistons completely clean and then we can pull the lever again and it closes up three by three so we're going to go right ahead and build this i'm going to show you quickly what the finished wiring will look like it's not actually that complicated um so i'm going to go through it with you nice and slowly so you can um follow along okay so what you're going to do first is you're going to get a colored wool because as you know we do them in colours to make it easier we've got our yellow wool and we're going to stick on our lever and that's it complete no I'm just joking so once you've got this you're then going to put a repeater down here on two ticks of delays so that's one off the default state and then you can put another block behind it with a piece of redstone on top of it you're then going to get a piston and you're going to put a piston right here put a yellow block on top of it Turn the lever on and put a torch underneath it. What you're then going to do is you're going to put two pistons here. You're going to put a block at a diagonal here, like that. Put a torch there and put another piston here. So, what this is going to do is we put this here and this is going to be the two middle uh, block it's going to be the bottom block and the middle block so as you can see it does this little bug and it now puts two pistons up in the air so this will be the bottom middle one and this will be the middle block in the middle of the three by three so when we now turn this lever off though it only retracts the bottom one it doesn't retract the middle one so we're going to use a different line to fix this for now just put the block back down there okay so now we've got that set up we're going to move on to the next bit which is going to start off with by putting a repeater here on three tick delay so that's one away from the maximum delay and then you're going to put a piece of redstone coming out of it a block to the side and a piece of redstone on top of that and you will see now that this will link back in onto that torch you're then going to put a torch on here put a block on top of that and two blocks out we're then going to put a repeater here no a repeater here with no delay and two blocks out what you're going to do now is you're going to put your redstone on top of it like so you're going to put your third door piece here and then make a nice uh, triangle if you like put one block there and one blood there a piece of redstone on top and a repeater underneath on two ticks so that's just by clicking it once so now when we flick our lever, it goes up into the air, and when we turn it off, it now brings it down one. So we're getting there. We've now brought it from up here to down to here, but we don't want it here. We need to bring it all the way back down to here. And to do that, we're going to need another circuit. Okay, so now to get our block down to the last level... You're going to put three blocks along with your new color and we're going to use a locking repeater method so to do this we're going to put a repeater right here facing outwards on three ticks of delay a piece of redstone here and two repeaters this first repeat you're going to leave this repeater you're going to put onto three ticks of delay so now when we flick it up it goes up and when we bring it back down it comes back down and all three are flush back to normal so 
up in the air and back down to normal so this is the hardest bit done now the rest of it is fairly simple we're just gonna hook the rest of it up okay so you're gonna get your door material and we're gonna make three up three across and three back down so this is gonna be your door and now all we need to do is we need to hook up some pistons to power these one two one two three a little bit awkward that and then one two so that's your next step okay so you're gonna need to have one final color I'm gonna use blue and we're gonna come out of this yellow block so we're gonna put a torch on there and then you're going to put a block on top with a piece of redstone and a block here with a piece of redstone now on the PC you can use slabs and glowstone to do this but because we don't have the option for that on Xbox uh, it does make it a little bit wider the wall but it's not too much of a problem so all you've got to do is join these up in any way that you fancy it's one of my dogs being uh, a bad so now when we flick the lever we get these four corners hook up and then when we pull them out it goes back to normal so we're now going to go along the top I've got the dogs barking Okay, sorry about that. We had some jog, some jog, some dog trouble. So I'm just going to replace these three blocks here, so we know where we are. I'm going to put three blocks on top. Hook them up with some redstone. To put a block here, and we're going to need a repeater because the line, because it takes long to get up there, the signal drops out. So you're going to have to have one repeater here. Join the redstone up, and all we need to do is get this redstone line, <coughs> this redstone line, to here. And we're going to do that in the simplest way that we can find possible, which is going to be something like that. And then we hook them up. So now what we've got, if we flick the lever, is these four and our top three. And then we flick the lever back again. And it brings it back down. And now it's just hooking up these ones. So to do that, we're going to come down. Put some redstone on there. have it so now we'll flick our lever oh and there missed a piece of redstone and we've got our closed door and we can flick our lever again and it opens up so it's as simple as that guys and uh, that wasn't too hard to do and now you can pretty it up however way you uh, want to if we close this up Quite easy to do in survival mode. Um, the hardest parts are going to be your sticky pistons to get hold of. Uh, and then to do your input, where if you wanted your input somewhere else, all you'd have to do is do a redstone line going into that. So it's as simple as that, guys. And I know some of you are going to ask, how uh, do I close it from the inside? Well, all you've got to do is go back a few episodes of School of Redstone. And... Uh, you will come across how to make two levers into the same input. I mean, you could do it with a T flip flop if you wanted to use buttons for it, or you could use an XOR gate to make it so you can use a lever on each side. So I hope you enjoyed guys, and we shall see you in the next episode. If you have any 
thing that you want me to do a lesson on, put it in the comment section below. If you have any trouble with redstone, put it in the comment section below. And um, I'll answer it for you. If it's a big enough problem, I'll make a video out of it. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And give it a like for the 3x3 closing door. So, yeah. Bye!